Yes, people, we're live and direct with the big bad turbulence, okay? He's ready to talk to us, so make sure you keep it locked in. You know what, turbulence? I want to know, what does reggae mean to you? Reggae is a means of transporting the messages to the people. Reggae is a hard beat, a hard felt music. Reggae is my whole being. You know, because reggae means rather means positiveness, means uplifting. Upliftment means taking you on a dry ride. It mm. means hits you when you feel no pain. Yeah. You know, and so reggae is everything to I and I, you know? For real, for yeah. real. And you know, I want to know why the name turbulence because when i think of that i think of an aeroplane and you're going a bit rocky mm. so tell us about that well turbulence was not 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 not, not a, a so-called name nor in self-imprinted name it was a, a name given to me by the people okay because of my attitude and my characteristics you know like i'm rough yeah i'm just living to babylon why i just all that is wrong and I ended that said to me, say, yo, turbulence is the right name for you. Turbulence, you are turbulence first, <laughs> turbulence first. Which are really, because mm. I was going by the name of double trouble at that time. Okay. So I wasn't creating, I wasn't causing any trouble, I was creating a turbulence. Mm, for real, I feel that one. And you know, how did you come to meet Philip Burrow? How did that kind of relationship start? Um... Philip, no, that, that is a long story, but it's a bit short. Yeah. Uh, I was at a, a function mm. for my grandfather and he passed away, he passed down. Okay. And I was the only member of the family who could sing. Okay. Like, I was a man of at that time still. <laughs> yeah. But someone had to go up there and represent and stand up for him. So I went there and sing one of Patty's. A uh, friend is my uncle. Oh, okay. And he said, Are you curious about this music? And I said, Yes. And he said, All right, I'm going to make you link one of my friends. His name is Philip Patis Morel. I said, Okay. No, no, nothing about him. All right, let's go. I went here, I did my auditions, and instantly, Patis said, You have a talent, but you need nurturing. So mm. I used to go to the studio every, every Tuesday and every Thursday. Every Tuesday, every Thursday. Every Thursday for like six years before no one knew me. Wow. And he just taught me bars, the mathematics of music. And here I am today with you interviewing me, be like a star. <laughs> Blessings. <laughs> you know, one of the big tunes that I used to listen to um, all the time was Notorious. Just for the beat, the rhythm, everything. How did that song come about? How did it all happen? Well, as I said earlier, when you asked me about reggae, what reggae means to me. Yeah. You know, um, and I said, um, it delivered a message across the world. Notorious merely, merely, merely indicating what could have been. Mm. Because, you know, we have choices in life, and some people take the wrong road, some people take the right road, and we don't know what, what's going to happen in real life. So, I could have been, some people calling me notorious in the street. Oh, what, this is a this is notorious. No, I didn't say I am notorious. I said I could have been yeah. notorious. <laughs> but I've been so we just choose that road. I, I tell, I'm just telling the people that we can choose the Tarek road and still survive and still be called a man or a woman. Still mm. survive. So, you know, unless I tell them, say, yo, it's, I chose that road, I could be one of the most yeah it's terrible for the world you know what i mean for real because you know at first i thought it was a reference to say biggie you know the notorious big so i thought okay what's this going on and i was a big fan of biggie big fan of tupac and that's what made me listen to it and straight away i was like actually this is a positive song this is saying i could have been this but i'm now this so i felt it for real yes, yes, definitely and then you got onto storyville how did that kind of all happen Say again. Storyville, how did that happen? You know, um, as I said, you know, the energy was right. Okay. And everything was falling in place. I, I don't really, you know, we just do God work and the blessing was falling. Okay, mm, okay, yeah. okay. And then the song, Blood Them Out, how did that kind of come about? Because mm -hmm. I need to know about these lyrics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because it's Blood Them Out. <laughs> You see, blood them out, no, blood them out is that thing where sometimes you have to, 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 you have
they have, they have family jealousy and you have no relation, mm. and then you have to just get, you have to revenue for the wicked. We are, we are all Jack agents and soldiers. Mm. So therefore, you know, sometimes you say it's not good to fight fire with fire, but sometimes when you fight fire with, 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 with this leniency, mm. you get burned up. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to fight fire with fire sometimes and you know, say, yo, tell the wicked that we are not afraid. Mm. Tell the rapist, tell the pedophile, tell the, the, the oppressors, we are not afraid. Mm. So that's why we are going to name them out. But they would leave fire, then we use the water and they go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Because, you know, it's not a new thing. It's been happening for many years. But, you know, the, the sad killing of Candice um, just these past few days. And I've seen the uproar it seems to have been, in, in particular Jamaica. But is there ever gonna be is there ever gonna be no violence, no rape? Or is that even possible? Well everything is possible and mm. anything is possible through the, the, the grace and the power and the blessing of the Imperial Majesty. Mm. So that all I'm saying is uh candies, my condolences to her to her to her to her loved ones and her mm. family and friends, but She's not the first. Definitely. And she, she won't be the last to, 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 to what we see happening in Earth. Mm. You know what I mean? I say, she, yeah. she's, she's just like a small percent, percentage of what is going on right now. And mm. that's why I've let them all come across too, you know? Yeah. And some of them more, they, they don't need no time to, re, to recoup and meditate about it. Mm. You know, because the Bible says, uh, cut down the wicked. So, so why not cut them down? Because that is wickedness, you know? Mm. My, my my thing is, even if you rape her, I kill her, you know? Mm, for real. That's my thing. But I don't mean, I, I, I mean, fire for man. I don't ever think they're, they're all going to be good and evil. Yeah. They're all going to be a negative and a positive, you know? I don't make it hurt. Mm. But I think, we should, in the time and place of that private thing, we should know in this time, in this Iowa, lean mm. to positiveness. Yeah. Right now, you know? So, yeah, for real. I feel I definitely hear you on that one. And, you know, I need to know, you know, because for a long time, there's been a lot of, I suppose, politics and how it influences the music. Does it influence your music? Well, as I said, everything is an influence. Everything is an ex um, experience. Everything is, is, is a calling card for my type of music because... Mm. I just don't pick topics out, out of the sky, yeah. like some, some of my do. You know, I, I don't have, I'm not good that way to, to, to say, oh, you know what, the sky, the sky is great. I can't do it. I, mm. you know, I have to really live my own experience and live over my brother's experience, my sister's experience, mm. young experience, yeah. you know, things that I see around the things I see. So I, I create a post of that experience. That, that they do it so politics is, is, is a part of our culture. Mm. So I have to sing about it, you know? Yeah. The good and the bad of it. The good uh, and politics, in my own opinion, is one day choosing the right the right person to lead, you know? Because you always have, have, have to have leaders mm. and followers. You can have leader, 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 leader. Yeah. You have to have followers too. Because if me never have no followers, I wouldn't mean them lads. That's mm. <laughs> what and the bad part of politics is just uh, the corruption, the lying, the, the, the mis misconception, mm -hmm. the, the, the um, being misunderstood, the all kind of madness and pollution. That's mm -hmm. the bad part of it. So we sing all different kind of things about it. For real, feeling that yeah. one. And then, you know, these past few months as well, we've had a lot of different talks about the authenticity of Rasta. And I want to know your opinion. What do you think it's losing its way? Do you think it's still the same? What's your thoughts about it? My thoughts about Rastafari is, first of all, is life. Mm. My my thoughts of Rastafari is not like a a, a one time movement. Yeah. And our thing is over there. This is my real life. Mm. Pick it up. My individuality still me. I'm thinking about me. I don't think Rastafari will ever lose the way. Mm. You know, you have, you have you have soldiers who will, will divert sometimes, but they, they come, they, they're gonna come back around. Yeah. Soldiers will divert, but they'll come back around. Maybe they are not going straight head on into the front line of the, of, of, of the fire. Mm. <laughs> Maybe they go around <laughs> and meet us there. So 
I, I can't be the one to judge. Mm. All I'm saying is, more praise is unto his imperial majesty, Emperor Ayala Selassie Aija. That's Definitely. the part. Definitely, for real. And you know, you featured on the Cali Roots rhythm with, you know, that rhythm is bad. And I need to know a little bit about how it came about, how it all happened. How did that start? Cali Roots um, were brought to me by my agent slash producer okay. in France called Never Stop. Mm. She told me of, 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 of the good works that they are performing and I said, oh, I want to be a part of it. Mm. Just, 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 just because I like, I like goodness. And mm. if somebody is coming across with goodness, mm. I, I would love to be a part of it. So, Colin is saying, I'm going to burn a little fire and then love it and it's, it's going to be <laughs> Definitely. And you know, one of the young artists on there, Black Hero, he's making some great waves. And I wanted to, I wanted to find out your opinion about these great new artists coming up, you know, the likes of Chronix, Kabaka P, all these artists, and, you know, people are naming them new reggae. But what's your thoughts about that? Oh, man, I, I would have called them fresh up reggae, though. not new reggae, but <laughs> yeah. fresh up the reggae, you know? Yeah. Because, remember, their style is, is from Stephen Newt's I&I. Mm. If you check it, if you check their, their type of reggae music is... Like they, they would call it reggae revival, mm. and it's from it's, they, they, they're moving from Peter Touch and Bob Marley days, you know, that's yeah. the that they're giving you. So, I wouldn't say it's a new thing, but mm. it's a good thing, yeah. it's a positive thing. Black Hero is a very good lyricist, and his mm. voice is good. Chronix and all of them, they might go out with everything, and <laughs> yeah. you know, it, helps, it helps motivate, you know, even more younger artists and older artists and who artists who are trying to maintain. Mm. It helps and it gives the people a, 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 that, 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 that boost to mm. deliver too because our brother is delivering and we want to deliver too. So, um, turban off yeah. to all the young artists that we are making that side and uh, use them power for good because, you know, the man will say with great strength from great responsibility. So, therefore, mm. them are, do them thing yeah. and we give thanks to them. Blessings for real, and you know you've done some new releases as well, like Celebration of Life. I'm feeling that one. I like the fact that you're celebrating life. It's not a down, it's not a down song. But tell us how that came about. Yeah, because our uh, Celebration of Life defenders featuring Anthony B. Yeah, I have a song called Mama Viva. That's a song I wrote about my mother. I have a song called Um. Time Machine, all these songs are taking off the new album that's coming out June 11, 2021. Um, it's called The Remedy. Okay. Celebration of life, first of all, is, as you said earlier, it's celebrating life, what life after, after, without life, taking life with good and bad. Mm. Because some people say, yo, oh, you know, me hungry, so me wish me dead. Mm. Well, this is the man in food food, and I think hungry. Yeah. And I'm say so. We really have to just know that we give thanks for life, or we are right, or we good, and life is a gift, and why not just leave it to the best of your ability? Mm. That's just really the song. I was in the video, in the video, I, I show them just a quarter of what life can offer, you know, yeah. the, 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 the nature, um, smoking the sacrament, cooking mm. the food, yeah. being among families and friends, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I tell us water. Mm. You know, you have your bills to pay, you know, you have money trouble, you know, you know, you have your, your, your sickness and your diseases mm. and everything. But we're still burning the fire soon. Definitely. And then, you know, we can't leave out because he's from Coventry, I'm from Coventry, Penology. How did that link up happen? No, Penology, I'm a G, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's my G right there. Um, he's like, that came about. Uh, from 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 Red Locks. Okay. Um, that's one of my 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 my, my elders in mm -hmm. um um residing in Nibu right now. He, he and Penology are close, so he said, "Yo, I want my," and it's coming from Starboy too. So therefore, it's a whole of link and connection. <laughs> yeah. And willing to Penology reason, I see that the youth full of powers and. Egotistic to, to do music and ready for the work and mm. that's what I'm, that's what I enjoy about it. You know, part, uh, eighty percent I love music, twenty percent is business for me personally. Yeah, so I love the music. So when finality came about and 
showed me the idea first of mm. his song and he wanted to feature me. I said, okay, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Put it together. <laughs> we did this thing. I know we we're happy, you know? Yeah, definitely. And you know, I've seen a lot of positive <coughs> works, you know, you've got the likes of Berries and Popcorn and then Beanie Man with Dre Island and also on there featuring um, Popcorn again. What is it for you, um, you know, linking up with the younger ones as well and bringing them on to different songs? More powers, man, as I say, man, and more yeah. powers got, man. You know, we just want some of the artists, them, step off, all of them pumps and pride all the way, you know, because mm. some of them, you know, it's like, it's harsh to say, but some of them, you can't even talk to them, you know? Mm. You can't even say, you know what, let's do this together. Mm. You know, so <laughs> sometimes you know, don't see a lot of combinations, even when you try. Mm. And I don't see a lot of combinations from other people, but it's always good to see that type of thing. Young artists and a big artist. Yes. Big artists and a young artist. Because big artists can help propel two yes. young artists up there. And two giant artists doing combination, even from different genres of music, even from, even from good and bad. Yeah. Because you don't know what what is going to happen, you know. You just put them together and unity and strength. So I'm loving the unity, and yeah. I wish to do more combination with all my elders out here too, and all the young young artists too. So I I just do music, man. Definitely, you know? for real. And you know, one thing about yourself is you're very positive, and that's I think that's what draws me to you as an artist is the positivity and just uplifting people, which is always a blessing. And, and, and it's, it's, thank you very much for that, and, it, and it's like, positiveness comes from gratitude. Mm. Being able to, 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 to get up every day and do what I really love, you know. Because when I'm in a bad mood, the studio always takes away that mm. kind of mood. Yeah. When I'm in a good mood, the studio builds on that mood. Mm. So the studio is like a second home, you know, when I, when I, when I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say second home, maybe my first home, because sometimes I drop a sleep in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> so, but as I was say, we have to stay positive, we have to give thanks for life, because when I, I hate to watch news, I hate to hear the news, because mm. it gives it, it, me anger and sadness because of there's not one day you can go on the news and, and not hear like 10, 20 people die. Mm. So, I'm alive, yeah. I'm doing music, no care. If my fan base is not as uh, big as yours, mm. somebody's still hearing, so yeah. why not do it? Definitely. And you know, what kind of message would you like to say to the young people out there who are listening or struggling just with what's going on now? Blessed is the man, woman and child that walk it not in the council of young God and stand it in the ways of sinners. Now I sit up in the seat of a strong girl who's delighted in the Lord, the Lord, and back to meditate day and night. The Lord God, your respect for power, and over the gate of Zion, but in all the dwelling places of Zephyr. Unite, come as one. Be humble, but not do it. Good mm. thanks for life. Keep listening to the positiveness. Keep striving for positiveness. Keep striving for better. Don't get really in a battle and run here. Don't just keep running the fire. Mm. Like turbulence and stuff, because they might fight, but they only fight because you're enormous and because you're a big man and you're, you're a big thing, mm. you're a big deal. That's why you're fighting. Nobody's gonna fight somebody who's nothing. Yeah. So keep it up. For real, for real. And then you know, I can't have turbulence on here and not ask you to sing a little something for us. <laughs> 